Hi, Gene here with today's thought, and today's thought is going to be a suggestion, a suggestion for the next Republican president, which I hope will be the next president. I hope a Republican president will be taking the oath of office January 20, 2025, and, uh, well, whenever it happens, because we know the Democrats aren't going to do anything, a Democratic president, but at the earliest opportunity, this is what that Republican president needs to do. Now, we're starting to see some, well, I won't call it pushback. I'll call it, well, let's call it whining. That's what it is. Since uh, uh, the governor of Texas has been sending all these unlawful aliens into Texas and uh, to Los Angeles and to, well, to sanctuary cities, uh, but mostly to uh, New York. But you're starting to see a lot of complaints to the federal government from governors and mayors, especially the governor of New York, the mayor of New York, saying we need federal help, we need you to do something. But what they are not asking for is for the federal government to pick up these unlawful aliens. And they know where they are. There's a whole Holiday Inn, for example, that has been leased entirely. It's entirely full of unlawful aliens. So they know where they are, and there's more on the street, and they know where they are so for instead of asking for millions and millions and well for billions of dollars in federal aid for the price of a phone call they could call the federal government and say uh, come and uh, pick pick them up and and deport them because they're in the country unlawfully but all they're asking for right now is for federal aid to help the, the these unlawful aliens stay in the United States. So if I am the next, uh, well, if I, yeah, I mean, yeah, if I am the next uh, president, I, this is what I would do. Uh, the odds are small that it's going to be, uh, be me, but whoever it is should give an ultimatum to these, uh, these sanctuary cities and say, okay, look, uh, you want help? We'll come for free and we will pick up these aliens and unlawful aliens and we'll send them out of the country if you cooperate with us. Will you cooperate with us? If not, then we're going to use our federal dollars to send more unlawful aliens from the states that or and the cities that want these unlawful aliens deported to uh, your city because you want these aliens to be there, obviously, because you're not going to help uh, the federal government get them out of the country. And I would give them an ultimatum. Those are your two choices. Either you cooperate, not just let, uh, allow, but cooperate with the federal authorities, with ICE, to pick up and deport these aliens and not give them um, jobs, allow them to work and, and give them driver's licenses, all that. You cooperate fully with us. You grant every every request we make. You cooperate fully and we will uh, take these aliens for free. We will deport them from the country. That's choice one. Choice two is we'll, we're just going to send, we're, we'll cooperate with We'll ask every every city to do this, not just the the sanctuary cities. The ones that cooperate, we will for free get to start deporting the, these unlawful aliens. For those who do not cooperate, we're going to ship. We'll ship alien unlawful aliens out of the country, and we will also ship unlawful aliens to your city until you decide to cooperate. So you can have an unlimited uh, unlimited amount of unlawful aliens in your city, and you can take care of them at your expense. You can find places to put them, or you can work with us to uh, enforce the law, obey the law, or suffer the consequences. That's the basic choice, and that's my suggestion, my thought for today. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. We'd love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.